bad folks. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. I'm Black Templar. Let's get on with this. Right, now that we are properly dressed, we are now going to head to the bowling club. Now, for those unaware, bowling is a is a sport that um, is played, which is you know you roll bowls on the greenery. I mean, there are two versions. We have the um, my bag <coughs> with lawn bowls for the upcoming <coughs> tournament. Yep. Um, we have the lawn bowl, which he's going to, where you play on a green. And there's indoor bowling where you bowl on a flat surface. Yeah, hey, let's head to the club. This suit isn't appropriate for where we're going. Ah, oh, you need a pro you need a sport suit, isn't it? Okay, okay, Holmes. We're changing to the sportswear. I would have thought this would be more um morning gown. No, fe no, no. Where is it? Yep. Sportswear. Has to be this one. And looks a nice day in London again. In merry old England. In e old Victorian times. Anyhow. Let us be on our way to the club. Ah, so I need to wear the sports stuff, huh? Okay. I wonder what, you know, murder we're going to have this time. Come on, we're going to have a case. You can see it's coming. And we saw five, you know, blacked out this time, not grey. So that means we've got five people we're going to be talking to. Should be interesting. go <coughs> Mr. Holmes you played very well yesterday I'm obliged to you Sir Charles I play many outdoor sports that's the key to my success my friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me really Mr. Holmes would you like to see the first prize a rare stone Mayan Kiche Kanga Mayan Kiche indeed their legendary king Tekun Uman has a statue just behind you Although this one is a cast metal piece of that. Oh. <laughs> well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please explore. Okay, so we get to explore. I'd like and to win the Mayan calendar. It's a beautiful And we're after the Mayan calendar. For those unaware, the Mayan calendar was like a stone tablet, however I recall. Where was like there's the building green. So, have a look around. So, first things first. Take part in the finals of the Lawn Bowl Tournament. Yep. Oh, here it is. There it is. The Mindstone Calendar. Now, it is said the Mindstone Calendars were like, um, like, tracks the year, but also, they were like, a bit of soothsayers. They were like, you know, predicts doom and that. Yeah, I am serious. It, it, it was like that. This will keep Watson happy. Yep. So, some entries. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. <laughs> so I wish you good luck. <laughs> Arthur the Invincible? Oh, good God. We'll see about that. Ah, Mr. Holmes, are you ready to begin the final game? Sorry about that. Hello, Mister. Uh, sure. Yes. Let's start. I mean, I've had a try of bowls, but to be honest, it's a it's a bit hard in your things in your thing actually, because you got to be you got to time your t time your rolls very well. Right. Um. Hmm. Okay. I see. I'm going to throw it right there. Whoops. A little too far. So, I put it there.
Right, now the balls may begin. The object of the game, guys, is to try and get your balls as close to the white as possible. I think that should be enough power. Hmm. Not enough power. And also the angle's a bit off. Well, let's see how off it does. Interesting, but he's a little closer. Yeah, he's a little closer. Right. That should do it. Ah, yet again, not enough power. <coughs> but. I did make the balls closer, and I am learning the angle, so that is good. So how is he going to do it? Yeah, also in the sport, you have to use underarm, not overarm. Ooh. Oh, he overshot that one. Okay, a little bit more. That should hopefully put me in a good position. So I am figuring out the angle. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's closer. Now, how is he going to do this? Oh, interesting. But not enough. Okay, a little bit more that way. So what I'm hoping for you guys is to knock one of these balls out of the way, or perform a little cage. Ooh, a bit too much on wide on the angle and the power. Okay. And believe it guys, in Victorian times, they do wear those for spawn events, these um, suits. Oh, you get. <laughs> so what was the score? So he won, he was closer. Damn it. Right, it's his turn now. I thought I was close enough, but apparently not. I fell short. Alright, not bad, not bad. I got a feeling, guys, I'm not supposed to win in my encounter. I'll be honest, I think he's going to win it. Uh -huh. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, it overshot. But I got the idea of the angle at least. Well, that was kind of a weak throw. Let's try it this way and a little more oof. All right, I think I might have over angled it, or maybe not. Okay, it's his turn. Ooh, I think he overshot that one quite a bit. Let's try that way and uh, like this. Ooh, I think I might have lowered the power too much.
Yeah, I kind of lower the power a bit too much. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what he does here. Ooh, wow, he really over arced that one. Yeah, he over arced that one by a considerable margin. I think I might have over arced mine. Nope, I think I've got it. Yep, I've got that thing damn well surrounded. That's gotta be my point there. Has to be. Oh, I got all four. Nice. Oh, 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 that was a good turn. Right. Um, here we go. So that was a good round. Like I said, I'm getting the hang of it. It's just got to figure out the angles and speed. Okay. All right. Wasn't my greatest, I'll be honest, but it's all about studying the angles and lines. That's all it is. It's just studying it. You see, the bowling green, right? Compared to indoor bowls, where it's just like indoor, it's just like a flat surface. Long green has a bit of like a divot, like a bit of a like lump that you gotta navigate. So it's a little bit harder long bowling than normal bowling. Oh crap! I overshot this one. Oh, if I actually hit that, I moved it a bit further, but I think I'm gonna lose this one. Yeah, I kind of overshot that one. Okay. Right about here. Hmm. Not my best round, I would say. Ooh, I think he under shot that one. It's very hard, guys, to get the balls to hit to get near the white, but white one. But if you get it close, you get some points. Like I did with that four one. Right. Let's see if this will work. Oh, that's closer. <clears throat> but will it be enough? Alright, let's see what he does. I'm expecting he's going to hit. Nope, he's got closer. And he scored only one. So my second round might be the winning factor here. And it looks like that's it. Congratulations on your game, Mr. Haynes. Exceptional. The award ceremony will be tomorrow morning. Lone Balls Champion. Win a tournament of local well, interest. Dr. Watson. Unfortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah, what a pity. Let's go home. Yep. Play the bet. Attend the award ceremony, so... Yep, attend the final day awards ceremony. So Holmes wins. The first prize, the mind feature calendar. Yep, the mind calendar is mine. But anyhow, head back up to Baker Street. There's a little research we got to do about this mind calendar, so I have to figure out. 
I mean, that's in the history I recall. But yeah, not a bad one. I've won the tournament. That second round really helped there when I did that, when I got that four pointer. I mean, you can't be doing, but it's very, very hard to pull off.